Let's make the contents of your website be much more responsive. Now, this video is inspired by Design with Cracker. He did an amazing video and there is a link in the description. Basically, Design with Cracker, you're doing great stuff. I'm doing a similar video to what he's done, but just in my little way, because I think it's pretty important for you to understand, especially if you're creating websites and you're putting in containers and blocks and things, and then you put in your content and when you move to tablet or mobile or something, you're having to rearrange items to make them fit and look right. You can set things up here with Bricks Builder so that they automatically move for you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We're starting off with a section and a container. I am gonna drag a block into the container. Now, please bear in mind, you could use divs, you could use containers within containers as well. I'm just gonna go with a block. And inside of the block, I'm gonna drop in a heading. It's white text, and I've aligned the cross axes of the block to be centers as well. Add some quick padding. Pretty, pretty simple so far. Now on the block, okay, not the heading or the contents within there, I'm gonna go and give this a class name. It's over here and we're gonna type it in. I'm gonna call it block grid and hit save. Because it now has yellow here at the moment, if I do any more changes, it will apply across the block. So for now, I am just gonna hit that just to ensure that if we do anything else right now, we will come back onto this, it's not gonna touch anything. So what we have is a block and a heading with the number one. So I've duplicated it eight times and I've changed the headers accordingly. You can see all of that here. What I want to achieve is on the desktop, we have four going along the top in rows and four below. And when we get to the mobile, we have two. Basically, I want it in rows, but I want two per row. Now, if I go to the container and I switch this to be rows, we get that. However, when we get to the mobile, it's still in column, even though it says, look, if I put that in column or row, it's not really doing much. Let's just go back to the desktop. It's very important that you also enable the wrap functionality for the row, okay? Now, when we do that, again, it's now kind of wrapping. We're almost back to the column approach. And if we go to row, well, we're no different than what we have here. Don't worry, we're gonna manipulate all this. We're now gonna go and click on block. Now, please remember, every block here, doesn't matter which block I click, it's got the class name applied there, okay? Because these were duplicates. But I'm gonna go to the first one and I'm now gonna click the class to make it yellow. What we now do here will apply to all of the blocks because they carry that class. We're now gonna scroll down while we're in the block. Please remember, we are in the block. And over here, we have flex grow, flex shrink, and flex basis. We are gonna make sure the flex grow is one. That now gives the block the facility or the feature or the power to grow. And I will show you what this would look like if we had not enabled that. Down here, we have the flex basis. Now you can use units, but I prefer to use pixels or percentage just because of the way I like to work when I'm doing my layout. So if I go here and I type in 25%, okay, every block is now 25%. And if you imagine 100%, well, 100% when you divide by 25% is gonna be four. So we now get the four approach. If however, I had gone in and put in 33 points 3%, we now get 33, 33, well, we get three, six, but we have seven and eight. I did this on purpose. So now you can see that even though these two kind of technically should not be filling up 100%, they are because we have the flex grow. But let me take the flex grow off. If we take it off now, they are kind of sat within their area and we have this empty space built up over here. If I now put this back to one, it now grows to stretch across. If I was to set this up to be 20%, we now get five in a row, because 100 divided by 20 equals five, and then the remaining three, well, they just fill up the remaining gap. Just put this back to 25%. When we go to the mobile, it is doing the same, 25%. Now, here's what you could do, type in 50%. We're still on the class, okay? If you now go over to the desktop, that is still 25%. So you can have a mix and match of what you want to apply. And you might say, hey, that is still pretty, pretty cool. It all works absolutely fine because now we've gone from having that layout to having this layout, but you would now have to go through every single breakpoint. And we only have the four default ones, but what if you've got 20? Why would you have 20? But let's say you've got 20, you're gonna have to go through and set this. And let me just take that all off for a moment. Here's what you could do instead. Let's just go over to the desktop, okay? We're in the block, make sure the class name is enabled. We have one, one, and we have 25. 
If you go to the style, we now have the minimum width as well. So how small is it allowed to be? Now let's just say our container is a thousand pixels in width. And to the minimum width, I'm gonna enter a value of 230. You're probably wondering, why don't you enter 250? A thousand divided by four is 250. Let me show you what happens, look at that. We've now gone to three rows. And if we go to the mobile, it kind of looks like this. It's always more than it needs to be. I'm instead gonna enter in a value of 230. A bit of playing around will be needed here, but you'll get it. We're gonna go with 230. We still have the four by four grid. If I now go to the mobile, we've now gone to the two by, well, it's not two by two, it's two by four still, but you know, the other way around. And that works perfectly fine. And in the mobile landscape, it looks like that. Bear in mind, we don't have block nine, otherwise it would be equal. But what's really good about this technique like this, using the flex grow and the flex bases and the minimum width, I don't now have to go through every individual breakpoint to adjust things. You might need to, I'm, I, I can't lie there. You might need to manipulate how it looks, but this is gonna keep things really simple and really, really responsive. Hey, I'm Imran, Web Squadron, inspired by Design with Cracker. Like, subscribe, share and follow, and check him out too. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain. Let the grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that stack. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.